Hi everybody and welcome back. Well I sometimes get asked what is a good, fast, easy to install, stable Linux based operating system. Now I have recommended Zubuntu in the past and I actually have it installed in my oldest laptop. It's easy to install, it runs fast but not as fast as I would not as fast as I would like. So is there something faster and easy to install? Yes there is and we are going to take a look at Peppermint OS 3 inside a virtual machine. Now this was released back at the end of July. I actually meant to do a review of this and I completely forgot as I was looking through the um, comments somebody had mentioned or asked a question about a fast uh, easy to install operating system and Peppermint popped into my mind. So let's take a look here and see what we have. This is the main desktop here with the standard wallpaper. Again, you have the usual right click to get to a menu, submenu, desktop preferences here, appearance. As far as wallpaper, you really don't get a lot, but that's fine. This is meant to be very light weight, approximately 580 megabyte download, if I'm not mistaken. To the bottom you have a panel bar. Now what I do like about this, this is somewhat customizable. You can uh, click panel settings. And what I do like about this, you can change the actual size of the panel bar or move it to the top, which I sometimes do. And I just did right now. So if you click menu, this resembles somewhat of the old Windows 2000 menu, submenu type of uh, GUI. Let's go to the internet and go to Chromium Web browser and it goes to the start.peppermintos.com so let's go peppermint home let's find out a little bit more about this now as, as you can see this is loading up pretty quick and it does say it's built for speed lightweight user friendly so far as a windows dual booter all of this appears to be true now it says here that Peppermint OS is a Linux-based operating system that is cloud web application centric, meaning that most of your applications, or at least some of your applications, programs, apps, you will have to access the web to use this uh, fully functional, or, or at least the way that you want it to function. Now it says here that Peppermint was designed for enhanced mobility, efficiency, and ease of use, while other operating systems are taking 10 minutes to load. Really, 10 minutes? Not even Windows 7 takes 10 minutes. But fine, you are you are or you are already connected, communicating, and getting things done. All right, let me just say this so far. This looks fine. It installs quickly. It loads quickly and it looks great so if you are a Windows user looking for something to install as a dual boot or maybe as a replacement and all you want to do is just access the web and maybe play some of your you know music and stuff like that take a look at Peppermint OS 3 alright let me get out of this and see what else we have here so click the menu accessories here you have the usual stuff the calculator disk utility file manager Let's see the file manager. Okay, this looks kind of nice. I, I, was, I was looking at this a couple nights ago, and, and I think I did change the default color to this orange here. Okay, graphics. And let's see, the GIMP is not installed. You may want to install that if you'd like to do any kind of photo editing. Internet, we already saw we have the Chromium web browser, which is fine. I use that quite a bit. Under Office, we have Document Viewer, Gmail is great, Google Calendar, Google Reader. Um, as far as they go, uh, this goes, if you want this to be more fully featured, consider downloading LibreOffice. Sound and video, not much here. You may want to try downloading Banshee. System tools, of course, printing, software, synaptic package manager, task manager, time and date update, user and groups. Let's see, let's go to task manager, let's see what we got here. And as you can see, CPU, CPU usage very low, memory only 172 megabytes. Again, very lightweight. All right, let's go to preferences, and I think this is where I changed the color. I think it was under customized look and feel. Now, as you can see, there are many options here, but let's go to customized look and feel. Oh, let's see. 
fine. Let's leave it leave it at this bright white. Close. Of course, we got the Chromium shortcut. Let's take a look at the software manager. And I believe this is some members of the former Linux Mint team that built this, and I believe this is based on Lubuntu. And you may have seen this before in Linux Mint, um, Ubuntu, Zorn. Again, very easy to navigate to and through. If I wanted to install, I had mentioned Banshee. You can just click Sound and Video. And here it is, and here it is right here. Type Banshee, and it'll give you a description on Banshee. Score of 113, a lot of reviews, details, and then as you can see, all you have to do is click install and have the system or have the application installed. Okay, I think I would leave this review uh, the way it is right now. This runs quickly. It appears stable. I was playing with this a few nights ago. Didn't see any hiccups or crashes. Take a look at this if you want something fast, simple, lightweight, something as an alternative to Windows 7 or maybe as a replacement. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I will catch you guys sometime in the future. Ciao.